I, I'm I'm beyond confused. I, I don't understand what's going on. CG, they need to figure a few things out. All right, the, the players here are not exactly excited about everything in this kit rebuilt today. And we're gonna talk about it in depth in a later video. I'm gonna make an entire video talking about this once we get to it. But what the hell are these Omicrons? Like, this is weird, all right? so. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be talking about the new Gungan Felix uh, kit reveal. I don't, I still don't know how to say it, but that's the kit reveal that we're uh, working with. And also, let me know, what do you guys think about having the, the background in the videos? And let me use the green screen for the streams. Let me know what you guys think about that. Anyways, um, the Gungan Felix here, I mean, it's the, the character that we've been looking forward to for the Gungan faction for a while now. Um, He's kind of been the, the tank is kind of what we've really been waiting for for a lot of things. I mean, obviously we've seen uh, we've seen the Gungans already have use uh, without the tank, but the tank is really gonna make this team pop and uh, make it really really great. I think so. This is really really good to see. I'm very glad to see the Phalanx is finally coming. Um, I do like his little picture here. His, his little pointer thing. He looks very happy. Looks like he's very happy to go die in a battle. Um, so this guy. Has uh, he gains taunt when the ally shield didn't lose multiple stabs of phasma shielding in a turn? So basically, you know, when you have like mass assist or something on the on the shield, you know, he gains taunt. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, while the shield generator is active, Gungans are immune to protection disruption and gain foresight whenever a phalanx assists. That's pretty good. Uh, a foresight whenever the assist happens. That's pretty great. Raise the shield. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe raised a shield is kind of the vocabulary we're using here. To reflect some of the incoming damage uh, with retaliate and protect your allies with shield up. Uh, assist his allies when he's not damaging, or not damaged by the enemy, okay. And Phalanx brings his first over. <laughs> Now those pesky feats may not be as difficult. Yeah, I'm sure the Grand Inquisitor feats and Galactic Challenges are going to be made so much easier by the Gungan Phalanx. I'm really sure that all of those Mandalorian light side teamed faction bonuses are going to be super um, compatible and helpful with the Gungan Phalanx Omicron. I still don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm just going to say like I am saying it right, but I mean, I could totally be saying it wrong. Nobody... Like, look, nobody really wants Conquest Omicrons, but there's ways I think you can make it cool. Again, I mean, that's going to be another whole other video. Nobody really wants Conquest Omicrons, but there's a way to make it cool, and I'll have a video on about that. But there's no way you can convince me that in any world that there is a cool Galactic Challenge Omicron potential anywhere in the game. Anywhere in the game. There is no way anyone is ever going to apply this. If you are going, if you're, look, if you're going for the Gungans, you are going to be good on the Galactic Challenges. I don't think you're going to need help with Galactic Challenges if you are farming the Gungans. And if you are a new player, you should not be investing your Omicrons into a Galactic Challenge Omicron. If you are a new to mid gamer, there is no world in uh, that you could ever convince me where you would need a Galactic Challenge Omicron over Savage over Treya, Wampa, uh, Starkiller, Dash Rendar. There is no way that this is worth it. So I'm going to make an entire separate video about that. I'm not going to rant about that too much more, but there's my thoughts. Um, anyways, so uh, what were they inspired by? Um, they saw the shield, so that's cool. Um, strategy, strategy tips here for fire, 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 poke the thing. Uh, can inflict defense down or daze if they already had deep. Okay, that's pretty cool. Also provides protection over time when attacking on turn. Yeah, they want that protection again. Coming back to the Gungans, the other kits, converting a lot of health to protection, a lot of protection. The Gungan shield thing, more protection, keeps that protection going. This team is all about protection. They have no health, all protection. If you can get through their protection, then you're killing them. But that's the, that's the tricky part here. So. Hey yo, watch out, gives the Phalanx taunt a, and, and inflicts, wait, hold on, gives him the taunt and then inflicts the enemy with tenacity down, allowing for all the powerful Gungan debuffs to be applied. Again, we see that with the other Gungan kids, um, you want the, as many debuffs out on the enemy team as you can, because that means more t uh, characters are going to be doing more damage, um, especially the Boom and Deer, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they triple damage, especially for Separatist units, but I think they do more damage for debuffed enemies. Maybe it's Tarpal, I don't know. Someone does more damage per debuffed enemy, which is great. Um, Failing schemes, max protection? No way. When he uses the ability taunting, and which increases his potential uh, damage from raise to shield. Okay. Um, 
Well, there we go. Here's the fierce poke. Let's see, is it an uh, underwhelming animation? Oh, dude, yeah, it is. You, I hate these animations for the Gungans as well. I don't want to sound like I'm, like, complaining, because I'm actually, like, I'm very impressed with the Gungans. Very happy that we're getting them. I'm just the choices in this kit, I'm just not excited about, to be honest. I think um, the taunt and the protection, obviously, this is going to be super great. I haven't read the rest, like, too many of the abilities in depth to yet. Um, but just, I, I'm not a huge fan of the animations. Like, the little poke thing, it doesn't really feel very satisfying to use. And again, the, I can't get over that on my Um When field deal, okay, so Fierce Poke is deal physical damage to the target enemy and inflict defense down for one turn. If the target enemy already has defense down applied, uh, days for one turn. Whenever Phalanx attacks an enemy out of turn, the weakest Gungai ally gains three stacks of protection over time for two turns. Okay. Getting more protection in, doing more damage, getting more debuffs out there. Basically, we're just amplifying what we already have on the Gungan team. Uh, Ayo, watch out! Uh, CD four turns for tier two. Okay, final text deal physical damage to all enemies and inflict tenacity down on them for two turns. If the enemies that were separatists also inflict provoked for two turns, which can't be copied, dispelled, or resisted, um, Phalanx taunts for one turn. If Phalanx was already taunting, recovers 20% protection. No way. More debuffs, more taunting, more protection. That's crazy. Let's uh, let's give it up for the failings here. I can't believe it. More protection. I'm, 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 I'm just messing around. Obviously, we want more protection on this. It's just, there's a lot of protection baked into this kit here. All right, raise the shield. Uh, four turns for tier four. Did you see that little animation here? This is a cool animation. They, the, light, the specials they have are, have some cool animations. It's just they're all their basics. I just don't like the little, ooh, the little poke thing. It goes, ooh. It's like they're, um, it looks like they're trying to like put it in like the oven like really carefully. That's like be careful there, you know what I mean? I don't know. Dispel all debuffs on himself and deal physical damage to the target enemy. Deal additional an additional instance of e damage equal to 10% of the Gungan family's max protection. Uh, inflict vulnerable on all separatist enemies for two turns, which can't be copied, spelled, evaded, or resisted. Gungan allies skin shield up 25% for two turns and failings against retaliate for two turns, which can't be copied. More attacks, more protection. You see what the trend here is. A lot more protection, a lot more debuffs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and shield up is gain a shield based on max protection. No way, more stuff is based on max protection. Uh, retaliate, uh, whenever this character is damaged by an attack, deal 20% of the damage received per stack to the attacker as true damage. This damage can't defeat enemies. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, whenever they're damaged, deal 20% more damage uh, per stack. Uh, uh, per Received per stack to the attacker as true. Yeah, okay, so cool. Lots of just helping the team around, you know, assisting. That's pretty cool, too. I like to see that in here. Uh, unique one. This is a Zeta. At the start of the battle, Phalanx loses 75% max health and gains that much as max protection. Whenever Phalanx is not damaged by the enemy, on the, another, the next other ally going in turn, that ally gains potency up for one turn. Phalanx will assist and resume. Oh, dude, I don't have a PhD for this. Remove eight stacks of recharge from the ally shield generator. Okay, so keeping the shield generator up, more max protection, of course. Um, if the ally shield generator loses two more stacks of plasma shielding in a single turn, Phalanx taunt. Yeah, we already talked about that, I think. Uh, whenever Phalanx uses the ability, well, taunting is 2% max protection stacking. No way for the rest of the encounter. Oh my god, guys, it's more max protection. Uh, whenever an ally shield generator is destroyed, Phalanx rubbers 50% protection, and Gungan allies to spell all debuffs on themselves. That's pretty good. I like the mass cleanse there. Those are nice. If there is an active ally shield generator, Gungan allies are immune to protection disruption. Whenever Phalanx assists another gal a Gungan ally, that ally receives four sight for one turn. All right, and while in Galactic Challenges, here's the kicker. At the start of the first turn, the ally shields are against 10 stacks of plasma shielding. Enemies can't assist if they are targeting Phalanx. At the start of the encounter, and whenever an enemy is defeated, all Gungan allies get 100% evasion for one turn. Whenever a Gungan ally uses a special ability for the ne uh, next two turns, all Gungan allies have 50% offense uh, for their basic uh, abilities expose the target enemy for one Okay, wait, hold on. And their basic abilities expose the target enemy for one turn. Whenever a Gungan ally inflicts defense down on all... Uh, defense down... Oh my god, comma. All... <laughs> CG, come on. Inflicts defense down, comma, all Gungan allies gain offense up for one turn. Whenever any Gungan ally attacks, out of turn, they remove 20% turn rate from the target enemy. 
uh, that was a hard to read, but I think we get the idea that I can't, I can't, I cannot fathom someone putting on this instead of a Bane Omicron or a Star Killer Omicron. I can't fathom it. Like, I, this is. Look, we need to play test it to know how this will really work. I'm, I don't have a PhD in Galaxy of Heroes. You guys know this, but this just doesn't. This is not worth it. Like, I, I'm just trying to figure out who they're targeting with this Omicron because. All the late gamers can do Galactic Challenges already, and all of the early mid gamers are not putting this Omicron on. Like, I, I just don't know who who's this for. So, I'm sorry if today's video seemed a little bit negative. Um, I'm exhausted, I barely got any sleep, so that's probably part of it. But also, I'm just really... I don't know. This is, I was really hoping for something interesting. This is just like kind of giving stat boost to the rest of the team that we already had, which is needed. The taunt is very much needed. This is not a bad character at all. It's just the creative choices, and especially the Omicron really is disappointing. I, I don't like the the little basic ability pokes. Those are kind of lame. Um, it just feels like a lot of just buffs are being passed around. Just, oh, this does this, and then, then I'm going to help you with this. And it just it gets lost in there. And the Omicron, it's so... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the Omicron and really this kit in general in the comment section down below. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts. Maybe I'm out of base. Maybe I'm out of base here. Maybe everyone's like, yes, Galactic Challenge Omicrons. This is the new meta. This is what I've been waiting for. This will change the game forever. Maybe I'm out of base here and you guys are right. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. We have more content coming every single day. And I'll see you in the next video.